life can be fun. Go to the forest where the shadows do run. They're coming soon. They can hear you. And we are a Paranormal Chicks. And we are blazing through the 31 Nights of Halloween. And we are freaking having a blast. Yeah, we are. We hope that y'all are loving it just as much as we are. For this special episode of 31 Nights of Halloween, we have a special guest. Dun, 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 dun. It's me, Tiffany. She's here, y'all. She is here, and she is going to be the hostess with the mostest. So if you're in the Facebook group, you saw that we posted a thread that... Was like, ask us questions. Ask us anything. Like Oprah. <laughs> and of course, y'all came in clutch, as always, and sent us some really good questions. So. We, ha- we have not read any. Well, it actually, I've read a couple. Like, just like, a, like, like five. Okay, well, I haven't read any. Well, the purpose of me reading a couple was to be able to comment and say, hey, thanks for submitting these. These are really good. <laughs> and I can't lie. I gotta be like... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I did read some. I didn't read them all, though. Okay. But Tiffany has read them, and she's going to read them to us so that we, these are pure, surprise, honest answers. Yep. Y'all ready to hear these questions now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This first question comes from Estefania V. She would like to know, favorite Halloween costume you've ever worn? Hmm. I know, okay, I was always a fucking clown. Like, I don't know if I'm, my memory is just so segmented or if I really was a clown for like mm, seven years straight. But one year for just like this fall festival at school, which was during the day in like a solid hour that I was there, I did win my first ever goldfish there and only in a dot as soon as I got home. But I was a cowgirl and my sister Kelly did pigtail braids and I wore probably clothes I had and she drew on freckles on my face, which I like as an adult looking back, I'm like, why'd you draw freckles on my face? Like I have freckles. <laughs> yeah. like, but I don't know why she drew them. On. It's just to make them more pronounced. I freaking love that costume, but I think it was because it was something different than the clown that I had been for a solid decade. Yeah. Okay. Mine would probably be Betty. When I was Betty and Tiffany was Wilma. Out of all your Halloween costumes? Mm Mm-hmm. Is it because your mama helped you make it? Yeah. Chris L. wants to know, which story y'all have done did you think was most disturbing and why? Oh, most disturbing would be Toy Box Killer. I knew that's what you were going to say, and I think that's that's mine, too. Yeah. He, whew. Just because, like, how he looks... What, like, he was so undetectable, and he got so many people to help him, mm-hmm. and then, like, him recording the the thing at the beginning. Oh, like, my God. All the of recording. that, and just, oh, my God, all of the torture devices, mm-hmm. and just, oh, my gosh. I think, too, for that one, because you wanted me to do that one so badly, because yeah. you had, no, like, it was the name that, yeah. you know, you had no idea what he really was like. No. And so when you heard it, you were like, holy fucking shit. Yeah. And honestly, we kept out a lot that I would just kind of read to her on the side and be like, we'll cut this because it's too much. But yeah. I would t- so there is so much to him that was ju- is truly horrifying. And then on that watch party, when we watched yes, that, like. Lacey K, she was like, ooh, here's this uh, documentary. Yeah, and it was like, it was on YouTube, wasn't it? It was just like Something. a, it was just like an hour long thing about him. And it was just. It had the actual recording. And mm-hmm. I had wanted to listen to it just to hear what he sounded like. No, uh-uh. it, it's, it was. No, it was bad. Beyond disturbing. I think it was at a time, too, where we still have, like, we have some good photographs of it. We have, you know, but it still is kind of that older looking. And so it kind of makes it a little creepier, but he, Toy Box Killer by far. 
And then of Donna stories, Black Eyed Kids. Yes. Yes. If you haven't listened to that episode, go back and listen. Episode it's nine. So good. I'm pretty sure it's episode nine with Ed Kemper. But yes, I still lock my doors like every fucking time and like don't look outside, don't look outside and shut no. my windows. Like mm-mm. Mm-mm. Robin R wants to know if money was no object, what would your dream costume be? Oh, that's a good one. I am on such a big Ursula kick right now. Yeah. That that's that was my first thought. So I'm going to go with that, but I know that there's something else I'm not thinking of. The first thing that came to mind was Cleopatra. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know why. That surprises me. Really? Yes. I never would have in a million years guessed Cleopatra. I don't know why. You know what I would guess for you, Donna? What? Would be... If you say Miss Piggy, I swear to God, you're no, right. No. The lady from Milan. Yes. Oh, my God. The matchmaker. Yes. Well, that's not money. Uh, I'm her shape. I have her hair, <laughs> her hairstyle, all of the above. It's me. You know what the caveat to that answer should be, too, is if we could fix the weather. Because I really want to do, like, really good Sanderson sisters, the three of us, because that's so perfect. But it's too goddamn hot. Yeah. You know? It like, really it is hot. too hot to wear those costumes. So, if it, if if... Weather was not a factor, then there would be way more. Like, there's way more that I could think of. Well, their clothes, it's just too many clothes for me, period. True. Rachel L. would like to know, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Favorite Halloween candy. What's yours, Donna? I know. Okay, what? The Reese's Pumpkins. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. (laughs) But if we're going with, like, Things I only eat at Halloween, it's usually the Tootsie Roll, but the flavored Tootsie Roll. Oh, yeah. Because it's that child's play package that is yes. my fucking favorite because it has all my fucking favorites. Tootsie Rolls, the little ones, the long skinny ones. Look, I have an equal <laughs> opportunity, Tootsie Roller. Um, is it Tootsie Rolls you're talking about? Mm-hmm. All, I'm talking about all the things. Look, the little ones, the long ones, the the thin ones. The, the ribbed ones? The ribbed ones, <laughs> for her pleasure. And the Tootsie Roll Pops. Mm-hmm. And fucking Dots. I love Tootsie Roll Pops. Mm-hmm. 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 How many licks does it take? As Four. many as it needs to. Oh, also, I like the peanut butter zebra-striped candy. Yes. But those are year-round. Yeah, but, like, a lot of people only... I mean, when do I get candy? Every fucking time you go to the Dollar General. <laughs> And the Very last true. road trip we took, you got those. I did. I did. <laughs> That's true, but it's because they're not, like, readily available, I feel like. Teresa E. would like to know, most memorable Halloween. Honestly, I think my most memorable one is when I was younger with my brother and Tiffany's older brother. And we went with my sister. I mean, it was, like, every Halloween that happened. But I remember this one, and it was the whole Medusa thing. So if y'all have heard that story about whole my snakes, it was this one. But, okay, so there was this whole church group, and I don't know why we had a rivalry with them. Like, not really, not personally. It was just, like, if they got to the people before us, I mean, they had, like, 20 people on a fucking flatbed truck, and big girl... Big Mom over here wanted the good candy. So we always tried to do it. Well, Lori whipped out in front of them, my sister, and she was in her little beetle bug. That's what we were in. And she whipped out, like, Tawanda them. And then Tiffany's older brother flipped them off. <laughs> and then we all did. It was like, yee, 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 flipping off this fucking church group. <laughs> like, so stupid. <laughs> You damn heathens. That's why I didn't go with y'all. Probably. Dang, that is so her brother, too. The like, you know. Mm-hmm. For me, again, I feel like my memory is segmented, and but it's also like every year is one year, you know? Yeah. So I guess it's more of like a Halloween memory. I just remember, because we had a 1985 Lincoln Town Car. Fucking land yacht. Fucking land yacht that we had the ceiling carpet stapled because it was falling. <laughs> Uh, like literally stapled up there but in that car in the back seat in the floorboard 
Casey and I would both put our paper grocery store bags that we would dump all of our candy in. And I just remember, so we would go to a few houses and then empty our bucket, go to a few houses, you know, into the bag. And then when we would get home, we'd pour it all out on the floor. She'd get her pile. I'd get mine. They'd check for razor blades and we'd eat. And then we'd go to bed and go to school. (laughs) Aunt T wants to know, which horror movies do you think you'd last the longest in and which one do you think you'd last the least amount of time in? Okay, Nightmare on Elm Street, I'd probably last the longest just because I don't need sleep as much. Okay, well, the one I'm going to die in is anyone that has to do with fucking running. Well, Same. That's all horror movies, so <laughs> you're dead. I mean, no. <laughs> Can I answer for you, Donna? Okay. You know what Donna would die in? What? A fucking Saw movie where she had to get thrown in the pit with the needles. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is like Saul. I would die. There's no I would fucking way. Die. There, there. Yeah. He'd be like, "You want to play a game? Nope. Don't even need. Mm-mm. Don't even waste your recorded breath because I don't. But be- well, because let there's me like, explode because uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, it de- would depend on how you were gonna die. You know no, I mean? any of them. But, any well, okay, of okay. them. The, the ones that stick stick out in my mind the most. The needle pit. Mm-hmm. The one where the guy's arms were up in the shards of glass and he had yes. to get, pull them out. Mm-hmm. Like, get the, get not, the key yes, in, and come out. out. Oh, fuck it, get it off. I can't do that. Those are the two that stick out. So, anything that involves, like, self-harm, mm-hmm. because to, to, like, do it, I don't know if I could do. Mm-mm. I like to think if it was some sort of, like, psychological thriller, I could survive. You know what I mean? Like, if it was, like, something, like, mind gamey, I could survive. But then again, probably not. Well, you know... Speaking of running, on The Walking Dead, when that big guy, it was Shane and the big guy, and I can't remember the big guy's name because he only lasted, like, two episodes. And it's because he was big, and the guy was like, see you later. And, like, you know what I mean? He didn't run as fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, you only got to run faster than whoever you with. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the one she would survive, Carrie would survive the most in is Scream because they would be like... What's your favorite scary movie? She'd be like, well, let me see. Um, Hold on. Let me Google this real quick. Uh, Two hours later. Well, I don't know if I really liked that one. Let me watch the trailer real quick. (laughs) I'd be like, is that the one with the guy that did the thing from that thing? And I'd be like, no. I'm like, okay, not that one then. What about the one... It would, you know what I would be on that scream call? I would be that goddamn Geico commercial where she's like, the squirrels are back. Yes. <laughs> Her son's like jumping on a hair. Yes. 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 It's not a good time, Mom. Well, your dad's just sad. <laughs> okay. Amanda A. has a two-part question. Okay. The first one, they would like to know, if you could spend one night... In a haunted place of your choice, where would it be, and what celebrity would you choose to join you? Ooh. I don't have a specific, specific place, but I have a specific type of place. Okay. I would want to do a haunted jail. Mm. And with me, Teresa Caputo. Mm, Ooh, that's a good one. Thanks. Yeah. Mm, Waverly Hills, because... That's like my ultimate dream. Almost went there. But I saw the side eye. <laughs> but Carrie was on her scooter. <laughs> and it's not handicap accessible. But celebrity. Hmm. Probably Zach Dibbick Douche. Only because I'd want to see like what actually goes on. Under the sheets with him mm-hmm. and you. I mean, hello there. <laughs> I was so about to say, like, your bedazzled boot. Uh-huh. Isn't that him? And that's yeah, that same guy. <laughs> or one of the ghost bros would be fun. <gasps> ghost Marcus. bros. For you, Marcus. No, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Dalen. Oh, he's, he's, yeah. I like Dalen more. I like Jawan. Yeah, Jawan. I like them all. Fun. I do, too. Look, we, this is, okay. Perfect man is Dalen's intelligence, leadership, all those qualities. Mm-hmm. Juwan's like arms, sweet, yes, <laughs> but his I love his height too. But his like he's suave, you know, yeah, his like swagger, his, yeah. And then Marcus is like 
personality, and I like that he's a big guy. So, like, if yeah. they could combine his body type with Jawan's body type mm-hmm. and then have those personalities rolled in, oh, my God, it would be the perfect man. Yeah, definitely. Amanda's second question is, if there was a scary movie based off your life, what would the title be? Ooh. I know, right? That's a, that's a good question. That's a really fucking good question. Expect the unexpected. And we'll steal it from fucking Big Brother. Damn. Mine would be, but wait, there's more. That's good. I like both of them. Thanks for your approval. Charlotte L. would like to know, if you had to sleep with a horror icon, which master villain would it be and why, e.g. Michael Myers? Hmm. See, Michael Myers, Jason, they both have masks on, and I like to kiss, so that's Mm. a no-go. Yeah, but then, like, Freddy, he would cut you all kind of (laughs) up. The silence says everything. I wish y'all could have seen her eyes. All right, I'm just going to say this. Oh, fuck. But the Candyman, and I'm not saying his name anymore, but... The Candyman can. Donna, he got bees. (laughs) I want him to uh, sting me with something. (laughs) She said, Donna, he got bees. (laughs) It's like the heartbeats, but, you know. (laughs) Bees? (laughs) Yeah, come find my honey pot. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, got one. Okay. It's not really like a horror movie, but I mean, I'm going to go with Buffalo Bill. He liked a big girl. Oh, true, true. I mean. And he would definitely like rub the lotion on your skin. He would He would be so sensual with the lotion. I bet he would even like warm it up first mm-hmm. so that it like soaked in really well. Mm-hmm. I mean. And he loved little dogs. I don't really like little dogs, but. But I do. I mean, he would even do a strip tease for you. Mm-hmm. He would be in it to fucking win it. Mm-hmm. The next question comes from Joy B. Joy says, picture it. APC, bad guys battle. Freddy versus Jason. Ooh. But the two of you have to pick two contestants from those featured on your show. Who do you pick and why? Okay, okay, okay. I think I got one. Okay. Robert Ben Rhodes. Mm Mm-hmm. The trucker. Mm Mm-hmm. Versus Toy Box Killer. Ooh, that is a good one. A stationary torture chamber versus a traveling. Yeah. Have torture chamber, will travel. Ooh. Ooh, what about El Chupacabre? Mm -hmm. You know, as my mama says it, versus Skinwalkers. Ooh, that's a good one. You know, another one I would do from your stories? What? Slenderman versus Shadow People. Ooh. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so much creepiness rolled into right? one. Oh, Ooh. my God. That was a good question. Mm-hmm. Aaron M. wants to know, whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? Usually, I just try to enjoy the movie for who it, like for what it is, or I yell at the people. Mm, yeah, I'm usually the yeller. I mean, if it's not good, I'll fall asleep. But I, it t- I don't really fall asleep in movies, though. I did fall asleep in Us. Yeah. But it was because I was, like, super tired. Mm-hmm. And those recliners were super comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany L. Not the one sitting here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you're reading your own question? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? She puts in parentheses. Insert guy in scream mask talking over the phone. Yes. Oh, my God. I just referenced this. Just so the people out there know, Donna can totally do his voice, and she's going to do it now. Go, Donna. Go. Do it. <laughs> Let me can't. hear it. Do it. I didn't know that. Go. No, Hurry, I, do can't. It. <laughs> I can't. I <laughs> can't. I can't. Okay. She will. She will. I know she will. But we just got to move on, and then she's just got to break out with it. She no. can't do it on command. <laughs> No, like, I used to be able to, but... Try. It can be a blooper. Try. (laughs) (laughs) I'll cut you like a fish. (laughs) (laughs) You haven't done it in years. Oh, Oh my my 
God, that was so good. <laughs> do it all the time. <laughs> <sighs> it gave me chill. <laughs> that was really good. Okay. For me, it is Nightmare on Elm Street. I was about to say that. Because that is one of the first that I ever saw. And my sister Casey and I, okay, my grandma had it at her house, like, recorded from TV on a VHS. Like, I can remember what, I don't think I could even read when we started watching it. But I can remember very clearly what the label looked like on it. Like, it had an orange square on the left. And then it had the, you know... But Casey and I, so Grandma had like a downstairs, a.k.a. like a sunken den kind of thing. It was two steps, but we called it downstairs. And Casey and I would sit down there and watch Nightmare on Elm Street. But she was so clever, that one, that she would put the VCR on Nickelodeon. So, and we would close the door. So when they opened the door, she'd quickly hit stop and it would be on Nickelodeon. They wouldn't know what we were watching. She's so smart, huh? She's clever. Genius. So anyway, I, like very small child, that was probably the first one. So that's why it's my favorite. It always just got me because like, I mean, at some point you do have to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, it's like you're in your most vulnerable state. Mm-hmm. And the more you try to not fall asleep, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's like there's it's a no win situation. You yeah. can't stay awake forever. Yeah. But now as an adult, it's like. God, he's really funny, and mm-hmm. he's got, like, some witty one-liners and mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, they're stupid as fuck. Oh, but, yeah. But, like, like our kind of stupid humor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's on my level. Yes. One time, we were at Carrie's sister and brother-in-law's house, and she had to use the bathroom, y'all. Imagine that. I always have to fucking use the and bathroom. so, she... Yes. And so she went in, you know, using the bathroom, and I'm nosy as fuck, so I'm just, like, looking out the window, seeing, because they had, like, redone their house, and I was like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, do, 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 Carrie? <laughs> um. I remember. <laughs> like, dumb. Yes. It's, it, when you said, I didn't know, I didn't, first of all, I didn't know what sister mm-hmm. and what house we were at, because, well, I go to the bathroom in the mall. <laughs> but. It wasn't until you said they redid their house that I was like, (laughs) yes, I know this story. Yes, because they had this guy who was working for him doing guard work, and he looked like the guy who plays... Robert England? Yeah. England. Yeah, he looks just like him, but he works at AHOP, or he did at Mm -hmm. the time. And so I was always scared of him because I was like, oh my God, he looks like Freddy Krueger. Looks just like him. Well... It's, like, safe at IHOP, and then I'm, like, looking outside, and then, who do I see? <laughs> and I'm, like, huh, Harry? And he's, like, got the push mower with his headphones yeah. in, like, singing, because he oh sang when he moved. <laughs> oh, my God. I was just, like, holy fuck. <laughs> Jennifer R. wants to know your favorite urban legend. Mmm. The one that always gets me is the the headlights. Donna, I swear to God I was going to say that one. <laughs> yes. Because now my fucking car is, like, smart but stupid at the same time. <laughs> and it has auto lights. So it'll go auto bright but randomly. And then I'm like, I am not flashing y'all. I am so sorry. And then it's like, oh, my God, what if I flash someone? And then they're like, those people. Mm-mm. So the urban legend is it's like a gang initiation mm-hmm. that if they're driving with their lights off and you flash them to let them know, hey, your lights are off, then they turn around and kill you. Yeah. That one, that was my, that was my initial one. But when you said it, I was like, okay, my other one is that like people hide under your car and then slice your Achilles tendon. Mm. That hurts me to my core. Yes. Ooh. And the one where it's, like, the guy who hid underneath the bed, and the girl thought the dog was licking her, (gasps) and it was really the man. Have you ever heard that or anything? No. I mean, I've heard of, like, like different ones where somebody's hiding under the bed, and they thought it was something else, and then they, like, had a note that was, like, you almost died kind of thing. Yeah. But I didn't know it was, like, the person licking her. Gross. Yes, because she would always, like, hang her hand down, like, her arm, and the dog would lick her. Like you're doing now. Putting my hand back in my lap. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Mm Mm-hmm. And it was him. Ooh. Bo, you're never getting petted again from the edge of the bed. (laughs) 
You pet him from the edge of the bed? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm fucking not now. Donna, do you remember what happened to us on the way home from seeing that movie, Urban Legends? No. I didn't turn my headlights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, of course you did. <laughs> I didn't turn them on and we were sitting at that stop at the red light and some guy was like standing there trying to like point at Oh my yes! Car. And yes. Was, like, trying to talk. We were downtown. Yes, he was trying to say something like Dumbass, your light cut off. That's yeah. what he was trying to say, but we were so freaked out from the stupid movie that we were like, oh, just turn green, turn green. Turn green. <laughs> yes, I do remember and that then, now. And like, halfway home, somebody, like, every car we passed was, like, flash, and I'm like, <laughs> uh, my lights are off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe that's what that guy was trying to do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all were the reverse of the urban legend. Uh-huh. Oh my god! But I, we were god, freaking that's so out nice. because everybody was flashing us, and we we're like, "Why are they flashing us?" Oh you know, my god, that is great. Me. Our next question comes from Kimberly Kelly. <laughs> oh yeah, I've always wanted to say her name. <laughs> and I got to. Yay! <laughs> Do you know why we started that? From uh, my best friend's wedding. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Isn't that like? Well, it's Kimberly Wallace. That's how she says that, like, where she calls her up to do karaoke. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. See, I know stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Carrie probably didn't when I did it. I didn't. I didn't. One thousand percent, I did not. <laughs> Kimberly asked, if you could visit any haunted place in the world, where would you go and why? You know, I might want to go to Japan's uh, suicide forest. <gasps> oh, no, <gasps> ma'am. Mm-mm. Not me. Mm-mm. No. Okay, who wants to go with me because these two knuckleheads? I mean, I'd probably still go with you. <laughs> well, uh, count me out. <laughs> just because I want to feel the presence there. And, like, I don't want to see anything like that. Oh, no, you know what yeah. I mean? I don't want that. But it's just, I don't know. Like, I just want to feel that somberness, I guess. I can see that. Mine is actually equally depressing. Oh, shit. And I'm not even sure that it's haunted, but I'm also pretty positive that it is. Auschwitz and, like, the concentration oh, gosh, camps in Germany yeah. just to, like, see the history and learn more. But also, like you said, just feel, you know, that it's so powerful there. Yeah. And so it's just the feeling, the power, I think. Mm-hmm. And because even, like, this is such a small scale like so small of a scale compared to like Auschwitz but when I was in Salem they had this new ish memorial for all of those who were killed during the Salem witch trials and like each one of them it was like this these stones that were like built up like a a little wall and each one had one that kind of jutted out like making like a seat and most of them had letters that would be like I'm your great 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 and there would be like eight Great written like eight times, your great 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 grandson or granddaughter or whatever. Wow. And this is what, you know, thank you for the sacrifices and blah, 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 blah. And it just was so powerful mm-hmm. and, you know, moving and all the things. And it was, again, a tiny scale compared yeah. to like Auschwitz. And so, but I think that's kind of what you're talking about and looking for yeah. in the suicide forest. Yeah. Also, with uh, we went to that Holocaust museum. Oh, that in was... Houston, and and it was so like we didn't talk really. Uh, uh-uh. we didn't talk while we were there. We didn't talk on the car ride home. It was truly one of the most powerful things I've ever experienced. And they had letters and all of that. And gosh, it was so moving. So that's a really good. Yeah. Thanks. Even, sorry, I watch a lot of, like, documentaries about it, and when they're going through and showing what it looks like now and stuff, it gives me chills. Mm -hmm. Ugh. The next question, uh, the person asking it would like Carrie to pronounce her name. 
Oh, oh sir. Oh, here goes here. <laughs> oh, you know, that's just Warona. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cheated. <laughs> They have a question for Donna, and they have a question for Carrie. Okay. Okay. The question for Donna is, if you could have any kind of paranormal experience without being traumatized from it after, what would it be? Like, see a ghost, meet Trip Crabbery, see shadow people, Slender Man, Bigfoot, aliens, demons, etc. First thing that popped into my head was Incubus having sex they have sex with mm-hmm. you know that was going to be my answer earlier for something but i mean of course my brain goes to sex but really it would be i mean anything cuz i haven't had like where i've been touched or anything like that however on our live for halloween alicia said that she saw someone standing behind me you didn't know that? We hadn't told you that yet, Tiffany? No! Uh-huh. Yes. In this house? Yep. Yes. Right there. Mm-hmm. And she said that she thinks it's tied to me and not the house. Well, so she was describing what he looked like. And at first I was like, oh, that's probably my grandfather. And then I was like, well, no. Oh, my God. I bet that's my Uncle Bob. I know. If y'all could see Tiffany's face. What the fuck if it is? Like, he was into all that I know. Stuff with paranormal and yeah. Yeah. Saw stuff and yeah. And she said he looked like he was having a good time. And I was like, oh my God. The question for Carrie is if you could know the answer, who did it in as many details as you want to one famous case, which would it be? Gosh, there's so many. Of course, my first, my first go to answer was going to be John Bonet because. I just remember it so vividly. I, like, it is part of my life. Yeah. But gosh, there's so many. Like, I would really like to know the Atlanta child murders. Yeah. And then there's a local case that, so it's this one's not famous, but there's a local case of a girl that went missing in like 1994. So again, very imprinted in my brain because I remember the, and I think we've talked about this before, but yeah. I remember the wanted posters and I remember her mom and, I, you know, her name was Angela Freeman. And so I would definitely want to know the answers to that too. Yeah. Because I think it would do so much for the community. You said wanted posters? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> they wanted to find her. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> It's the Wild Wild West. <laughs> the missing posters. Thank you for correcting me. You're welcome. <laughs> Tibby's like, um, um, guys, guys. Tibby's like raising her hand over there. Uh, you, uh, you fucked up. <laughs> Can you jump in? For that, I would actually want to know if fucking bushy eyebrows killed his wife or was it his son? Oh, true. I forget about the son. Mm-hmm. But nah, he did it. Or... Was it the owl? Damn owl. Ooh, ooh. Not that y'all asked me, but I want to know if OJ really did it. Well, ooh. I was at that. Have you listened to the OJ one with the OJ podcast with Kim Goldman? Uh uh-uh. uh. Listen to it. Because he did it. Like, I mean, he did it. I already think that he did it, but I want to know, no. But if you listen to, like, okay, it's one of those things very much like the, um, Stephen Avery stuff, like, okay, he may have done it, or he may not have done it, but in a court of law, he should have never been found guilty. Like, you know what I mean? So, she talks to some of the jurors. Who I gotta listen to it. What's the name of it again? Confronting O.J. Simpson with Kim Kim Goldman. But she talks to some of the jurors, and one of them basically was like, even knowing what I know now, at that time, with the evidence that we were provided, I would have made the same decision. But when you get to hear the stuff that was not submitted, you know, when you just get to hear all these pieces from the freaking district attorneys talking and all these people talking, it's like, oh, oh. And then they talk a little bit about the civil case and how they want, you know, it changes things. Nikki J asked, question for Donna. What made you so attracted to paranormal things that go bump in the night and all crazy shit normal people run from? I get it from my mama. (laughs) But I don't know. I've always been, like, 
morbid, like curiosity killed the cat, I guess, you know, and I've always had an imagination, but it's not entirely wrong that you got it from your mom. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. You goosebumps to Mm -hmm. put you to bed at night. Stephen King. Oh yeah. And just like the stories that she would make up Mm -hmm. and all of that. She loved it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Get it honest. Nikki J's question for Carrie is, what made you so attracted to serial killers? My love of crime also started from my mom. From watching Murder, She Wrote, In the Heat of the Night, Matlock, Perry Mason, all the things growing up. I think my attraction to serial killers specifically is from my love of psychology. And basically, Mindhunter. I want to understand why they do the things that they do so that, one, we can catch the next ones. Two, we can try to cut them off at the pass as a child. Because if we could really and truly understand what the environmental components of it are, then maybe we could prevent some deaths. Now, some people are who they are, and no matter how they were raised, they're going to kill. But I think it just speaks so much to the societal obligations that we have to these children who are raised in environments that they shouldn't be. And where we need to go as far as our foster care system and I mean literally everything services offered to kids for psychologists and all these things and so I think if we understand the serial killers we can understand again how to cut it off at the pass yeah that's good so I think Nikki J may be my favorite person that asked a question in this entire thread that we're doing because she asked one for me oh Oh, shit. shit she says Tiffany how do you put up with these two for so long and not go crazy? She is crazy. She has to say, she just as fucking crazy. Girl, it's lots of medication and a lot of alcohol. And Donna and I over here, sober as a fucking jaybird, being crazy as shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, we on medication, too. Oh, I mean, girl, I would be nothing without my fucking Zoloft and I. What's the new one I'm on? Busporin? Busporin? I don't even know how to pronounce Bupropion? it. I don't fucking know what it is, but I love it. <laughs> Those were amazing questions yes we hope we did a good job i know and i know we didn't get to all of them but stay tuned to the 31 nights of halloween because spoiler alert we're getting to all of them yes thank you so freaking much tiffany for being an amazing hostess with the mostest your reading skills were on point uh if you say so (laughs) i had a really good time i'm excited are you excited (laughs) i'm excited she's something I like hanging out with you, too. I don't know, really know why. I do. Medication and alcohol. You already <laughs> said. <laughs> that is true. Well, she's also a Libra, so she's like the balance between us. Mm-hmm. And she needs people to make decisions in her life. That's true. And uh, Yeah, you do. You do. And we are domineering. I mean, I'm a fucking Aries. Mm-hmm. And I'm a Leo. Yeah, the fuck they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is pretty much it. Tiffany's in the back seat going like, oh, fuck. The parents are fighting again. <laughs> pretty much. And then I saw it for about five minutes. Yes. And, and then, we're like, Tiffany, we're fine. We're Where over do you want to eat? Yeah. <laughs> we're over it. We're hungry. Can you fucking talk to us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I mean, that's it. So, yeah. It works. Thank y'all so much for submitting the questions. Thank you, Tiffany, for being here. And remember. Creep it real. And, and don't, don't get, get scared. scared.